Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Optional channel for UPSC examination. In this video, we are going to learn about the reproduction in nostoc. As we have learned the structure of nostoc in the previous video, this video will only focus on the reproduction in the nostocs. All right. So before starting the video, I request you to join the Telegram channel of the same name that is Botany Optional for UPSC on the Telegram platform. There we regularly upload the notes and the video links relating with this channel so that you will not miss any update from the botany optional channel all right so let's learn about the reproduction in nostoc the first thing you should know about the reproduction in nostoc that the nostoc are primarily reproduced by the vegetative means so the very first method they reproduce is an the colony formation as you can observe in this picture these are the colonies of the nostoc generally these colonies get bigger and bigger as they grow older and older right in the previous video we have studied that in a structure when there is a earlier colony it's a quite microscopic colony but as it ages it becomes larger and larger in size when these colonies attain a particular size they break off from the each other and these broken parts form an individual nostoc colonies which are further gets bigger and then again divide to form a new colony in this way the nostoc number keeps on growing through this type of reproduction so the first method that is the colony formation method there is only the breaking of the older or the larger colonies of an nostoc which results in the formation of new colonies the second method is by the formation of hormogonia now these hormogonia are produced by the nostoc filament itself now what happens in this the nostoc filament is break at a certain point which creates the isolated hormogonia now generally this break occur in between the heterocyst and the adjacent vegetative cell so you have to carefully remember that the break which is occurring in the filament of an nostoc it is occurring between the heterocyst and the neighboring vegetative cell because this is a weakest point in an nostoc so the breaking occurs in between the heterocyst and the vegetative cell this results in the formation of hormogonia now these are hormogonia are nothing but the short segments of an nostoc colony these are the short segments of nostoc colony so these are short colonies which we are calling it as a hormogonia these latter got converted into the new filament and thus forming a new nostoc colony so reproduction by the hormogonia is another vegetative method adopted by the nostoc to create the, to increase their number all right now the third method by which the nostoc reproduce vegetatively is by the akinetes now how these akinetes got created in the nostoc now this there is a process that one of the cells of an trichom is become larger that is larger than their normal size now after some time there is a deposition of the thick cell wall around this bigger cell that is the cell which got bigger also has a thicker cell wall now in the third step what they have is a deposition of the reserve food material that is the reserve food material is deposited in this particular cell so in the first phase it got it gets larger in the second phase it gets the thick cell wall and after getting the thick cell wall it got deposition of the food reserve in this particular cell now this cell which is larger having thick cell wall and have a large or abundant reserve food material is called as the akinetes now these akinetes has the remarkable ability to remain dormant under an unfavorable conditions so you can observe in this particular picture these are the akinetes which are larger in size having having thick cell walls and the large food reserve so these akinetes remain dormant throughout the unfavorable condition but under the favorable condition they germinate and create an new nostoc colony so formation of akinetes is a third vegetative method adopted by the nostoc for the reproduction the next method of the vegetative reproduction in nostoc is an by the formation of endospore now these structure that is the endosperms are typically created in the heterocyst only that is the heterocyst is majorly involved in the formation of the endospore now consider this as an heterocyst in this heterocyst there is a division and formation of the two cells now when there is a formation of two cells 
in this heterocyst this new cell is called an the endosperm under the favorable condition got converted into the new trigon hence establishing a new nostoc colony so in this way this is helpful in creating the new nostoc by the vegetative means of the reproduction so the very first method of the vegetative reproduction in the nostoc is an colony formation the second method for the vegetative reproduction in the nostoc is and by the formation of hormogonia the third method we have discussed is and the formation of akinetes and the fourth method by which the nostoc get reproduce is by the formation of endospores so all these four methods are used by the nostoc to get reproduce vegetatively all right so i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching this video please like the video please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany subject and if you haven't subscribed to the botany optional channel yet please subscribe to the botany optional channel for upsc examination again thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next one